I think for the first time in the history of the show, let's do a live daily challenge. So here's how this works. Okay. On top of our Spelunkiacity, which we have a cave streak of 18. You get one run per day. It is compared against everyone else in the world who does this singular run. So that th if there wasn't enough pressure, there's even a little bit more pressure. Um, so super so this is it. So this is, you get to run this run one time, the daily challenge, and uh, then you're ranked in the world on this one. Miracle Rogues, thank you for dialing in. It's my pleasure to be here. So we're excited. You know, I think I think we're gonna have a good run today. I'm excited. I'm really excited Ooh. for the sponsored game, um, which we'll talk about. It'll start in about, you know, most likely since this is gonna be a winning run, it'll happen after this run. Um, but I'm excited about it. And it's got, it just came out and it has a lot of really good Steam reviews. So I'm really excited. All right. No hints on the sponsored game. We got, we got to focus on AWWA. Appreciate where we are right now. I'm, I'm gonna hit you guys with the reel, and it, it's it's Saturday, so we can we it can be real talk Saturday morning. I was excited about Borat too, because I think I remember what's the other movies he's done. Um, I was excited about because I remember laughing at one of his other movies, Bruno. I think I might have really laughed at Bruno, so I'm like, oh. You know, they'll be funny. And I watched it last night and there's a bounty for it right now. I mean, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I watched it last night for like 10 minutes and I didn't really get it. Like, I know it's like a, a, a specific kind of humor, but I, I don't know. It's just kind of funny, but I was like trying to figure out like, are you supposed to laugh at this or not? Yeah. It's, is it like, I didn't fully understand it, you know, but I, oddly enough, I was excited to watch it, but then I, I think I made it like 15 minutes in and then um, ended up semi watching a, a Hallmark movie with my wife. Um, but uh, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I tried. I was. Uh, the battle, I, I, it wasn't a battle. I'm like, hey, let's, let's, let's just, oh my, I'm not paying attention. Let's, let's just, um, let's try Borat. She's like, all right, we'll try it. She's like, if, if it's not good, then watch a Hallmark movie. I'm like, Bruh. okay. Something about some harvest. It was a, I don't know how, how it was located, but it was definitely, um, like a, pre-Halloween movie about some I didn't wasn't really paying attention I, I I ended up looking at a lot of Ultima online stuff on my phone instead but um it was about uh this woman who left her small hometown to go to the big city and then she came back and she left the big city because like someone was mean to her and then she came back and reconnected with that guy who was mean to her and she was like kind of dating him and some other guy and then he like did the same thing and called her out in front of like the town at this barn at this town hall barn meeting and then he wrote a bad review about the other guy she likes restaurant that quoted her in it but she didn't really say the stuff, but he, you know, did it to get back at her. And so that guy got mad at her. You know, it was just kind of, uh, where is this? I have Sodom. But anyways, that was the gist of it. So in the end, but the good thing about Hallmark movies is in the end, everything was, was set right. The, the jerk guy got put, put in the jerk place. And then there it is. And then she ended up with the nice guy. That's pretty much long and short of it. <laughs> All right. And then, you know, today, today can just be story time Saturday. Then this morning I was driving 
and there's this podcast and I got to be careful because I don't I, I need to, I'm going to be critical but in a nice way you can be critical in a nice way which normally I'm not critical but there was this podcast I really really wanted to listen to because it was about a game from the late 90s that I loved that is very similar to Escape from Tarkov and this podcast got the creator of the game that I really like to go on. I'd never heard this podcast before, but it's like a really big deal to get the, the creator of the game on. Anyways, so so the, the podcast is like an hour long. And the first 15 minutes are is just about the host telling a story. And I'm like, okay, um, where's where's the special guest? You know, it's just talking about himself when the when the draw was the special guest. And then so I got to where I was going and I didn't get to hear the special guest. Not a big deal. And then after that, when I left where I had to go, the special guest came on, talked for like the guy asked him one question. The special guest talked for like 20 seconds. And then the guy semi interrupted and said hey I just have to tell you a story hmm. about how I found the game and that was like another six minute story and so I didn't really get to hear the whole reason why I listened to the podcast and so I say this because I'm, I'm and I and I was debating I'm like should I reach out to this individual and offer some constructive criticism in a nice way because that's really easily avoidable and you know like person was newer to podcasting and I in no way is shape or form and I am I an expert but I do know one thing it probably in terms of knowing how to interview someone it's pretty simple how you interview someone you ask questions and you keep your mouth shut that's it that's how you interview someone um but you can't really say that to someone because it's not very nice so I want to help this individual because I really think I like the podcast or I like the content or the subject matter of the podcast, but I'm like, do I, do I reach out to that person and say something, you know, or are they going to be offended by that? You know? So I don't know. But, and so that's the thing. It's like, if you ever want to start a podcast where you interview other people, it's, it's simple, but I think for some people it's not easy. For me, it's easy because I don't necessarily like, to, oddly enough, I don't like to sit there and, and talk about myself. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just not how I'm wired. But um, it's just you just in, lit, ask the person questions and then genu genuinely listen to what they're saying. You know, because some sometimes we ask questions and we're like we don't really want to hear the answers. But anyways. That is that was my rant for the day. I think so. Let me ask you guys this. So on this this rant Saturday morning, why in chat? If you think I should, and you know me, I would never. You know, if I were to reach out to someone to offer unsolicited advice, which I n would never do in the first place. But for this, I genuinely want to help the individual. Why in chat? If you think I should do it. And in chat, if you're like, I wouldn't. Because at the same time, this is how I would take it. If someone listened to my podcast and was like, hey, I think you're onto something here. This could be helpful. I would listen to it for sure. It's a, it's a really new podcast from someone. I think this is their first ever podcast they did. 65% said yes. You know, I think that's the thing. Like, I was just... And this is what I think about sometimes. Sometimes, like, if you're feeling or thinking some way about this podcast, right? So, like, I like a little intro on a podcast, but it was like a 15-minute intro where the guest was the draw. And I'm like, well, if I'm feeling this way, I wonder if other people are feeling this way about this podcast that would just like to listen to the guest. Like, it would help 
to not have it be like that, you know? I don't know. You know what I mean? But, like, I, I just know I'm probably not the only person who's going to tune in to listen to that person talk and be like, oh, that's... Like, that's not what it, I thought it was going to be. The best way to leave feedback is an anonymous YouTube comment where you speak in a very patronizing way. But honestly, this is probably what I will do. I will probably reach out to the in individual and be like, hey, I listen to your podcast. I run a couple podcasts. I have some feedback. Would you be interested in hearing it? And if they... How about some feedback about get out of the caves, please? <laughs> uh, was totally this week. We can't do. We can't do this. <laughs> we'll get plus one spam in the chat. I uh, sorry for the rant. I just was. It's just something I'm. I'm not super passionate about like. I'm just really, really was like fired up about listening to the podcast. And it was just the host talking the whole time. All right. Let's, we got to focus here. Sorry for the rant. All right. No more. <laughs> Sorry for the rant. Yo, Owen with the diamonticity. Uh, it's like a really good question. Should you provide unsolicited advice? I think yes. See, and that's not like, because here's my thing. Like, if you're asking me to advice about streaming or podcast, I'm like, I don't think I'm qualified. But for this, I'm just like, I really wanted to hear the what this guy, the guest had to say, and he didn't really get to hear it. All right. Um, maybe right here. Trying not to hurt this guy. That's a tough bomb right here. But... Sorry for the rant, guys. It's, it's, it's not a typical part of the show. I just... He's going to get torched. Nice. All right, here we go. Ooh. For sure. That, I mean, and that's, I mean, and then, and I don't know if I'm not sitting here trying to toot my own horn. Wow. But like when people give feedback, like to me, that's, that's the best thing in the world, right? Critical feedback to me is the best thing in the world because it's someone literally telling you, Hey, here's what you need to do to make this better. And sometimes you don't know how to make it better. Anyways. Hang in here. All right. Which is why for this is fourth wall break in Saturday, which is why anytime like especially in the discord when, when I do polls and stuff, it's like I actually want to know what, what you're thinking and what you guys want because that's what's most important to me. You know? You got some feedback, nice stream. Thanks, Light Bacon. Um, but for real, that's why, you know, there's a poll room uh -oh, in Discord because like I truly value your guys' opinion, you know? Uh oh. This could get this could get really bad. We'll probably end up burning a bomb here quickly. Uh Alpha Cat. If you, if you could do me a favor, please don't ask that because just, just please, if you don't mind. Like all right, here we go. 
feedback also means they're invested and that's the thing hyper k2 my thoughts on feedback is even if it's critical be critical being like hey like if someone says when you keep doing this in a episode or on stream it's really annoying like that does not offend me i'm like okay if this person feels this way let me let me um expand let me dig more and see if other people feel the same way so i stopped saying doing stuff like get a donkey 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 like <laughs> Derek, you like stuff like that like i don't know maybe that drives a lot of people to the moon you know and like i wish you would stop doing that Eric, you. <laughs> All right, let's move the needle here. Ooh, Derek, you. <laughs> uh, like, and like, the, I think in terms of Spelunky, things that I don't have a cosine on in my opinion and i could i could see potentially being really annoying is this like high pitch squams when when we go to the black market i could see that like driving someone crazy but let's go are there things that if you know that annoys people you keep doing it just for the meme if i were to do something like that it'd be like once in a very long while do I play this on Steam with a controller or just on console? So I'm playing this on Steam with a Xbox 360 controller. Um, but there are some people that play with mouse and keyboard. Being asked about feedback, I prefer red or black shirts to letter emblems. I feels like newer subs get cooler emblems than long-term subs. Rifle shoot, I got you. It's understandable. Hmm. Okay, so we know we got some sauce down here. Let's let's forget this. Forget that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like with the with the new badges, which I hope you guys like. Um. Like there's just limited Welcome, brand new subscriber. There's limited options with what you can do with a red shirt, right? So I wanted to try and because it was it wasn't super cohesive, you know. So I just tried to do the best, and then I'm I'll, sure I'll hit the Discord for some feedback after the show. All right, let's get out of here. You like the squams on black market, but the mic not picking it up. I think because the mic can't pick up that high of a register. Yo, Italy, I I know they're playing right now. Can you keep me updated on the score? I'm guessing it's not good if you turned it off. If I could ask Derek you one question, what would it be? Um, Will you come on the Dan Geeseling podcast? Down 14 nothing to Rutgers. What happened? All right, we got it. We got it. We got one good run in us. Two turnovers, fumbles, or interceptions. You talk about Derek, you pay the price. You're not wrong. Queen of Sprinkle says, When am I going to call Derek, you, or his people and make it happen? Once. I'll hit you guys. Today's Real Talk Saturday. Once uh, Ryan comes back on the podcast on Check the Wire, then I can devote more time to uh, Derek, you too, uh, to Derek, you, but also uh, to my podcast because I got to, uh, you know, there's just a little bit more when I got to do a little bit more work right now with Ryan gone in terms of lining up co-hosts for the, for the week. Yeah, for sure. Please hold me to it because... That is something that's high on my importance list. I really want to interview Derek Yu. Derek, Derek Yu, 
Alright, so we're gonna pick up the pace here. I'm I'm like uh streaming is an interesting interesting thing, right? Cause I know this week on what day what was was it new game Thursday? We tried two new games and I like like sprinkling that in, you know. So I'm really like you guys know how much I love Spelunky too, and we're gonna win here. But I'm also very excited to try out this new game that we're about to play. How about a podcast with Ryan about being dads called Check the Diaper? Bruh. Got jokes, huh? <laughs> Ooh, back to back Yeezys. We'll take it. Uh, Derek, you don't hurt me. Da, da, Derek, you. Derek. Derek, you. <laughs> if Derek you has ever tuned in the show I'm not sure he would come on the podcast which is which is the, the dichotomy of life right you know because if he came on I would not meme at all you know Derek you <laughs> anyways Derek you Who's to say he hasn't? I guess that's true. You never know. Podcast where you talk about video game speedruns. Well, as a speedrun world record holder for 51 games on Nintendo Switch online, 100% segmented world champion. I do feel that we'd be qualified to host a podcast about that. Bruh. All right. We got double Yeezys. Here we go. Honestly, I, I went running this morning and I thought about that. I don't know what made me think of it. But I'm like, hey. We're a world record holder for 51 games online. 100%. And I'm not saying it'll never happen, but the odds of someone breaking that are very slim because it's just like, just the nature of the beast, you know, that's worth a bomb. Like as the game becomes less and less popular, the chance of actually doing it. Yeah. And it's already been challenged once in the, the advice that individual game is C space space PPI is very slim cuppy it's a good run here cuppy on one three ring the bell I do want to show you guys something T edits I don't I don't and I don't like showing you guys unfinished work but T edits put something together that I think I don't know how to wrap my head around it, but I think there's something to it. Not not necessarily in this format, but I think something like this could be fun. Um, but I like to show off stuff like this. Um, let me see if I can find it. I can find it. Dunk, dunk. Give me one sec. Where would he have put it? It's in a di bunch of different places. And this is like, uh, there it is. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's something to this. I don't know what it is, but there's something to it. He just, he just threw this out there. I'm like, you know, there's this, there's a shot, you know, anyways, that got, that got my brain working a little bit. 
as opposed to not very much. Here's here's my thought though is like I think a difference maker and I don't know I got to talk to I think Bridge knows a lot about it is like there's got to be a way to I don't know how the API works or anything but there's got to if as soon as there's a way to interface with the API of dang coins I think we can start doing some cool stuff like that that's kind of where my head is for that you know what I mean like I don't know, and I don't know if you can do that or not. Michigan State scored on a fourth down conversion from midfield. What's their offense look like? Are they running, are they running pro or are they? Let's go. There's a streamer that plays around, plays sound effects when you cash in stream points. That's cool. Derek here. When are we releasing the geezies? What's the geezies? Oh, you know what? We need blood here. Hang on. Mel Tucker does not punt. Oh, shoes. Uh -huh. Derek, you give us blood. All right. Good spot, man. This is, we're in a good spot here. Ever thought about playing Risk of Rain 2? I did, and then I saw the trailer and fell asleep. <laughs> I'm just joking, kind of. Semi jokes. <laughs> no, it just doesn't necessarily look like it's for me. I don't know. It looks like an MMO. It looks like World of Warcraft to me, which I know that's not an accurate take. But it's what it looks like to me. I would check out Noida 1.0 though. Yeah, it just like visually it looks kind of samey to me. You know? This doesn't... I know a lot of people like it, but... Not necessarily... It's not necessarily in our wheelhouse. I tried Valorant. I don't know, like, yeah, I, I feel like, especially if you've been around for a while, and even, and this is not, this is not meant to be offensive, but I feel like it's taken a while. But I gotta, oh, we should go back up in, uh, I feel like you can kind of tell what's gonna be a good fit for the show, you know? And I think if you've been around for a while, you can also kind of feel that. And it isn't necessarily all oh, it's this formula. But it's kind of nice to kind of start to feel that. Honestly, Proto Braid, I'm my my tune has changed on um on Hollow Knight for sure. I'm definitely more open to it now than before. We just probably need to find a way to pageant it up a little bit not anytime soon but I, I it's closer to being moved into the bread basket risk of rain 2 is kind of sleep what changed honestly a couple things the last time the community kept asking for a game it was really good and I, and I had a little hesitation, which was Undertale. And then also, um, Grand Pooh Bear really, really liked it. And I think we have similar tastes in games. All right, we got to find a way up here. And we heard one song accidentally from it. Um from a new music Friday and the music was really good. Honestly, I kind of miss Mario, but Spelunky kind of feels that fills that void a little bit. Isn't the music in Hollow Knight really good? I mean, the one song we heard was pogged up.
And that's, you know, that's the same thing with Undertale, right? Like, Undertale was heavily requested, and I'm like... But it turned out, honestly, it's probably turned out to be one of the best playthroughs of 2020 on the channel but you guys will have a chance to vote on that for the year end 596 award how much do i think music makes a game i mean i think if you have pog music it's really good you just can't have no music you know this is an interesting spot to be in right here And I think it helped that we accidentally fell into a genocide run, too. Nice shot, kid. Dude, we got Cuppy. We should... Should be doing a lot here. Pasticity? This is a run here. Okay, watch out for the Simon Belt. There's a Simon Belmont we need to watch out for here. Okay. Yo, Soy Boy Latte. It's going well. How are you? What saved the series? JXQ Games, what saved the series? All right, let's get in here. Oh, Belmonticity. All right, so we got a good run here. Uh, this will be our last run, because after this, we are going to start the sponsored segment, which I'm equally hogged to try out. Uh, ducky dunky dunk. Get the dunk. Dunk. Dunky dunk. Derek, you. Yo, soy boy. I appreciate you being here. What does raw soy look like? Don't forget the plus pl up. Oh. Excuse me. 20 cave exit streak. Malf, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> it's a looks like a bean. It is a bean. I've had edamame, yeah. Edamame is a soybean. Really? I never knew that. I guess I didn't necessarily know what that was. Derek, you. What did JXQ? Did you answer what that question was from? Derek, you. From the Midwest. I've never seen a soybean farm. I have not. You're not mad at us, right? Okay. All right, hang in here. That was not good, good timing, Isidy, but that was no panic, Isidy, right there. That certainly could have went the other other direction. It didn't have to go in that direction, and I'm glad it didn't. Oh, the genocide run saved the Undertale series. <laughs> I don't think I would disagree with that. Because it was essentially it removed all the lore from the game. Um, you just, Paraguay, you got the mug? Let's go. Hope you enjoy it, man. Yo, did we miss? Okay, we did not miss it here. Yo, just a heads up. I know there's been a few. I think Glass Embroidery said there were four mugs that were shipped out, not in the correct packaging. Um, so if you have a problem with it, which... Hopefully you don't, but if you do, um, send an email to, I gotta find the right email, but don't make it right and free of charge, but I appreciate you guys and your, your patience. All right. I think we're good. Wouldn't it be great if someone made a compilation of Dan? singing and angrily saying Derek's name. So don't give anyone any ideas. 
friendship is about to be ended here. Yo, what's up, Ryan? Can we trust you here? Or can we not trust you? I think we go buy the bombs, man. Thanks for popping in, Ryan. Good to see you. All right. Well. Let's go. I'm looking out for you, buddy. Ryan Gary, someone came in and, and said we should have a podcast called Check the Diapers. Crap. All right. All right. Hang in here. Okay, we got some serious drip here. Some, we got some serious drip. Oh, nice drip. We could be a little less dripicity. I would love to find a rock dog. Man, there's some serious drip here. We talked about Borat earlier today. I couldn't get past the first 15 minutes. I really wanted to, too. I was pogged up about it. It was not the, it's not the subtitles. I like subtitled movies. Um, Emily, subtitles only. City of God, subtitles only. The, the movie about is something Mary, full of grace about the, uh, the individual that would ingest drugs to move across the board. Subtitles only, it's not the subtitles. Maria, full of grace, yeah, yeah. That's a good movie. Definitely, it's got some minkicity. I enjoy high quality movies, subtitles or not. All right, hang. I think I think the drip's over. We gotta go though. Fifteen seconds to the Mars Volta. All right, we're good. Um, I, I haven't seen that movie in probably 10 years with Maria full of grace. All right. Something about Mary's subtitles only. Yo, is Fury here? Is Fury here? Fury, what, what, what chord is that? Uh, let's go this way. Hang in here. D minor? Of course, that's why we like it. D minor, best chord. Don't at me. Squam. Squam. All right, here we go. What side is Poppy on? There he is. All right. All we ask is all you got, ladies and gentlemen. Run's looking kind of good. Not lying. Prob I'm going to... Uh, dude, this is a tough... That's a tough battle, man. Between this music and Black Market, that's a tough battle. In terms of what's the better song. Ooh. We got, we got enough bombs to make the world go round. Hang in here. Hang in here. Don't, you look. <laughs> no! Derek! <laughs> Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the stallion who mounts yes. the world. There was no what with the drip. The drip. Oh, nice drip. I'll tell you what, man. 
You don't want it to go out like that. 20 cave streak yesterday, but Derek Hughes' timing is pretty impeccable, man. <laughs>